So I just want to say thank you to everyone that watched the last video. It means a lot that people are open to this new idea. I have expected a lot of defense for the traditional mod and people explain that I was doing it wrong, but that just wasn't the response I got. I'll make all the files available and at the end of the video, I'll explain how you can get them. So carrying on from the last video, I created a few more shapes to fill in the gaps from the shapes I had last time. This allows for a wide range of tolerances of pianos to be accounted for. I've labeled these shapes one to seven and also color coded them. I've installed one to seven on my piano to kind of get an idea of how they react differently. When I installed one and two on my piano, it messed with the escapement and then I had to lift up the tines. And then as I kind of went down the numbers, the power dropped off a little bit. So it was key to kind of pick the right number that wouldn't mess with the escapement, but also still had plenty of power in there. Yeah, I've, I've installed a small section of keys on my piano and I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. I've been uh, messing around today recording some stuff. I, th I think it's it's the way I'm going to go. Um, I did put the bump mod in there as well, this little feeler, and it could feel it a little bit still stiff and heavy. And I think on one note, you don't notice it so much, but when you've got a whole section of them, I, I just don't think it, it, it was the answer for me. In the description, I'll put a link to Fingerverse, and this is where you can get a copy of all the 3D files from one to seven. Um, I'd like to hear if anyone experiments with these and what they find. For most people, I would recommend just waiting for other people to test these in more detail. I'm more an engineer than a musician and more guitarist than anything else. So this really needs someone with two or, or more experienced people to actually have a look at. But yeah, while I'm here, I was just gonna say the usual thing on YouTube and said, if you want to subscribe, um, I've got a few follow on projects to follow on from this with the 3D printer and the piano. That I think if you enjoyed this video, you will definitely find the next ones interesting. The overall goal is to come up with a complete 3D printed piano where anyone who's got access to some basic tools and a 3D printer can make. Um, and it's not just, I don't want it just to be my ideas. I want input from anyone who's got them. If you've got an idea of how you can improve the piano, just drop me a message, comment, email. And um, if, it, if I think it's any good, I'll create it and give it a go and it might make it to the design. So yeah, the price of these electric panels are ramping up and it's crazy at the minute. Um, just watch them sell on eBay and uh, it's, it's insane, absolutely insane. But hopefully some kind of open project will allow anyone to get their hands on one of these, get a taste for it. And I just think that'll help the community um, endlessly. So yeah, I won't say any more on this. Subscribe much up for my next video.